right, the next round is about to begin. It is Jolt versus Hop. And it turns out in this game, they automatically heal your team back to full health. So Cinderace is ready to go again against Hop. I was thinking about making it a little more challenging and not using any items because this seems like it's going to be a cakewalk. But there's nothing else we can do. The two rivals from the beginning have been dreaming of this day where they will match up. And I believe whoever wins this will go on to face the champion. Oh, the one who will become the champion is Hop, apparently. And the crowd is eating it up. The crowd loves it here in what I believe is the final match. I believe Hop told me it was the final match before I walked out here. So let's see what he's got in that little brain of his this time. Hop versus Jolt. Here we go. Hop once again only bringing five Pokemon. I'm not really sure why you wouldn't bring six, especially since it's the championship series but you know what who am i to judge here we go things are getting fired up in the stadium and cinderace is going to verse hop cinderace going with the double kick in the animation you'll love to see it look at that hop dub wool eats the first kick and will eat the second kick and survive we didn't see a whole lot of that in the first round but that is a super effective attack, even as Hop has told us, and Cotton Guard being used. I don't know if that's the right move when you're already so low in health, but if, if possibly a healing of some type comes out here, that could be a solid move. He's not going to use a healing, and so Double's defensive increase looks like it's going to be for nothing. And now Cinderace will go into the next Pokemon battle completely full health due to poor training for Hop, who's number 189. What a number. And Cinderace is going to just insult to injury as he levels up to 60. And now we're going to verse Snorlax. We're going to make things more interesting and we're going to use some other Pokemon. We're going to go Toctri Toxtricity against Snorlax. We're going to try and wear down Snorlax with the poison effects. This is the matchup. I wish my Troxicity was not a girl. That Pokemon does not look like a girl to me, and that bugs me. But it's all right. Snorlax versus Tox. We're not going full name anymore because I'm getting sick of saying it. He's going to use Toxic to start off. I think that's the right play. As Snorlax is a big damage dealer. Or he, wow, damage eater. Woo! And that's going to help wear him down. High horsepower. So he's going to come in hard and Trox... Tro Wow, here we go again. We're just calling him Tox. I don't know why I keep trying to say the full name. As it's stumbling me up, a Tox almost gets one hit by Snorlax. And that is huge given the opportunity. Snorlax has always been a very strong Pokemon, as anyone who's played the games knows. Tox, Tox is going to use his overdrive attack and do big damage to Snorlax. But it's not going to be enough because if Snorlax uses high horsepower, which he is, Tox is going to go down. So just to make things a little more interesting, we have switched up our Pokemon. So Cinderace could probably roll pretty easily through this, but we're not going to give him the opportunity right now. All right, one of my favorites in this game. Here comes Sir Fetched. He's going to come in and match up very nicely against the Snorlax. Probably could have used him first and won easily, but we wanted to make things a little more interesting. Here's the Brick Break from Sir Fetched, and it's going to be everything you needed. Surfetch knocks out Snorlax there. And now Hop is on to Pokemon number three. It is going to be Corviknight, who I also have. Do we want to use a different Pokemon? I just lost my type advantage uh, in the last fight. So we're going to go ahead and pull Surfetch, though, so he's not getting pooped on by a flying type. And we're going to use somebody who I have really just carried in my team most of the game and not used him much. Dredna is coming in to verse Cor Corviknight in this battle. I don't know if this is going to work out or not, but we're going to give it a shot. Just use some different Pokemon, make it a little more interesting. Let's see what happens here. We're going to go with what are, I don't even know what attacks the best since I thought maybe, just maybe, Rock Tomb would be a little more effective. But then again, he's also a Steel type. We're going to go Liquidation. The big Liquidation on Corviknight is going to knock him down to about half health and his defense is going to fall. He's going to use Scary Face. So once again, Hop is not taking advantage and doing damage. He's just wasting my time. And so this liquidation should be enough. Oh, he gets Steel Wing off first. 
I'm not really sure what the switch there was for, but liquidation should be enough to knock down Corviknight, and it will be. And now Hop is down. Here comes Pokemon number four out of Hop. We are definitely going to match up those starters at the end here. This is not the starter, I think. I don't even know what Pokemon this is. I'm not real familiar with the new Pokemon yet. But we're going to go with... Let's go with our Corviknight versus whoever he just sent out. In my mind, I keep thinking it's the Meowth, but I don't think it is. We'll see, though. Let's see who he sends out. And it's definitely not the Meowth. It's some little guy who's not very intimidating whatsoever. And Corviknight is applying pressure to him. Pinch your chin. Pinch your chin. Uh-oh, we do not have good matchups here. Because that's quite unfortunate. We're going to battle anyways and see what happens. We're going to go for it. I feel like Brave Bird, even not being super effective, is still going to be better than the okay effectiveness. Oh, Brave Bird hurt myself. I forgot about that one. He's going to use Curse. Not the Curse I was thinking of, so it's just going to boost some stats. And so once again, Hop is kind of wasting all his time preparing his guys to get murdered instead of just doing what he should be doing. But here we go. The power trip is, yeah, that's what I figured wasn't going to do much. I don't know why I still have that attack. I guess I just wanted a dark attack and haven't learned a better one yet. So here we go. We have a terrible matchup here, but it looks like Corviknight still has a big advantage as Hop is wasting a lot of time just adding to his stats. We'll see how this works out. We're going with another Brave Bird. Corviknight's got his matchup. He's got a disadvantage in the typing, but it's okay because currently Hop is probably the worst trainer I've ever seen as he's absolutely just wasting the crowd's time. It is unfortunate to see somebody make it this far in the tournament and to continue to do nothing other than stand there and up his stats. You hate to see it. And so here comes another Brave Bird against Pincher Chin. <laughs> and we get a little more recoil. I've done more damage to myself. Holy cow, he can do electric moves. And he still didn't do much. After all that preparation, it still wasn't very much. And the, this Brave Bird should be enough Unless all that defensive boost will help him survive one more. I still think I've done more damage to myself than he has. And that's going to be a knockdown. So here we go. The crowd on their feet. They are on their feet for this last matchup of Pokemon. The starting Pokemon versus of Jolt versus the starting Pokemon of Hop. This is what we're going with. Obviously, I have the huge type advantage. But it's still interesting. Giant Pokemon. We love it. Here we go, they're gonna Gigamax, not Dynamax. I don't know what the difference is, but I'm still down for it. Think I got him back in the corner? Well, I absolutely do, because you're terrible, and you hate to see it. So, there's the starting Grass Pokemon versus the starting Fire Pokemon. I think we all know how this is gonna end, but we're gonna watch it anyways and listen to this crowd get pumped up. The crowd is on their feet for this finals match. Here we go, Cinderace is getting huge! Yeah, let's go! That's a giant bunny! Oh, he is putting his body on top of me. Alright, I would assume. Yep, here we go! Dynamax, I'm confused. Oh, is Gigantamax when they change shape and Dynamax is when they don't? I don't know. I'm a terrible announcer, apparently, because I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to this game right now. I love this game, I love Pokemon, but the new stuff is strange. And Rylabloom is now also massive, so he gets to eat a giant fireball and listen to the crowd go nuts as they all watch this fire attack one-shot him more than likely. Yep, there it is, and he goes down in one hit, and just like that, this match is over! Jolt is moving on to fight the champion. You absolutely love to see it. Absolutely a roll. Even with using disadvantage types, Jolt still comes out on top because this championship is probably the easiest of any game I've played. The Elite Four were much more challenging, but that's all right. Hop is upset and hopefully will be a good sport here because Jolp is just a lot better than him. And uh, and the, and the, here's the, here's the sportsman-like handshakes after the match. And has won 
their way through all of the many hopeful trainers in the gym challenge is Challenger Joe. Woo! Woo! All righty, here we go. So Jope will move on to the next round to verse the champion.